Thank you very much. I had a bit of a panicked start to the year when uh, Tony Abbott knighted the Duke of Edinburgh. And singularly probably the most stupid thing any of us had ever seen a Prime Minister do because uh, a sir is a diminutive for a prince. And uh, it sounds really like a bad trotter, doesn't it? Here comes Sir Prince Philip now. He's uh, running forth. Oh, he's got a urinary tract infection. He's clearly not going to run a place. Oh, he's being racist to the other horses. Shoot him, poor Sir Prince Philip. And then something panicked me because our Prime Minister's approval rating started to plummet. And I was thinking, please, don't sack him as leader. I've worked up all this comedy invective over the summer. The comedy festival's coming. What am I going to do? Oh, my God. I've got my lizard impersonation down. Because he's quite tight-skinned, isn't he? And he's always got the tongue ready. <laughs> Almost expected to roll out and flick a fly off Bill Shorten's forehead. Bah! <laughs> and anger isn't funny in retrospect. If I was out here doing Tony Abbott jokes, going, remember when Tony was our leader? Remember when Tony was a fuckwit? You'd be going, move on! Just do your Malcolm, in Tur Malcolm Turnbull impersonation and piss off. And I would, I would do it for you. I'd, I'd certainly do it for you because I enjoy saying words and, and pronouncing all the letters in all of the words. Like February. And no, I do. I quite enjoy speaking and I enjoy listening to my own voice because sometimes I just stop talking and just stare into the middle distance and suck the moisture out of my smug mouth. <laughs> but I do enjoy words, and it reminds me of that time I went swimming in the ocean. And... <laughs> I was with Lucy, we were down at the Bondi Icebergers, and... I went swimming in the ocean, and then I went for a shower with the nude men and boys. And I enjoy that, please, a bit of decorum. I just find it very egalitarian. You can't tell a Rolls man in life when he's nude in the shower. Well, I know who I am, I'm Malcolm. And, and shower, I enjoy that, that diphthong, ah. Can go on for hours when I say shower, or pa. Or nude, nude. And then I go home and I open a bottle of San Gervese and I look at my priceless art collection and I think, wow, what a wonderful country. What a wonderful country this is to be powerful and rich in. <laughs> and I know you enjoy my voice and if you want to talk like me, all you have to say is fire hydrant. Now, <laughs> just stretch out the I sound for as long as you can and hit the T at the end on the count of three. One, two, three, fire hydrant. Yes, there you go. You're speaking like Malcolm. <laughs> but of course, Tony's still the Prime Minister, and wow, his fuck-ups are such a Whitman sampler. Mm, aren't they? Mm. Oh, So delicious, I don't know what to go for next. Oh, I know. What about when he was Minister for Women? Mm. Mm -mm. Delicious, without a hint of irony. And if you're a woman in this country, I wouldn't blame you for thinking, well, the patriarchy's in good hands with the Abbott government. But the women of Australia, I'm here to bring you some good news, and that is you can end the patriarchy, very simply. All you have to do is communicate telepathically with one another and decide on a date. And on that date, end men, OK? There's more of you than us. Pick up something heavy or a machete or a screwdriver. Boom! Kill a man! OK? Because the male experiment has failed. We're warmongers. We're dangerous to you. The majority of women murdered in this country know their assailant. They live with them often. It's not funny yet. Um, that's not the funny bit. That's fucking hilarious. It's not. It, it's true. The male experiment has to end. We've fucked the environment. We have to... A very good way to kill us is have sex with us. And when we're asleep, boom, dead. And, and I'll be the first to put my head on the block once the date has been agreed on. You've got to have sex with me first. And I want a lot of sex. It's like a reverse G had. Uh, I want my sex now rather than in the afterlife. Virgins need not apply. I want experienced women. I want 
shit to get sick. I definitely want a finger up my ass. okay? I... In fact, you can fist me. Just fist me to death. I want to be the patron saint of the end of the patriarchy. Just <laughs> fist me to death. I didn't think I was going to say that tonight, but I have. Um... <laughs> and not tonight, you've got to agree on a date, OK? There's enough sperm in storage to propagate the species and raise the boys in the way of the matriarchy. Now, I can see some of you women out there saying, but Loz, you said telepathically communicate with your sisters and agree on a date, and I can't do that. Well, you can, and I'll prove it to you. Each and every woman in this room has in her possession, either here or at home, a tube of Lucas's pawpaw ointment. <laughs> Each and every one of you has a tube of Lucas's pawpaw ointment. Some of you have multiple, some of you have the tub. I've never seen it advertised on the television. I've never heard an ad on the radio or seen an ad in a newspaper or a magazine. Yet all of you have it. That is a higher form of communication. That's some whispering campaign. You've got to get some Lucas's poor poor women. Put it on your lips, rub it on your knees, whack it on your elbow, put it on a squeaky hinge. Put it on your hinge. That's not a euphemism. Just whack it on your hinge. OK? <laughs> All of you have it. Now, I can see some men in the audience looking very dumbfounded, just going, what the fuck's going on? Everything's changing too quickly. I don't want to die. I don't know the difference between a pawpaw and a papaya. Put that down, Craig. It's a mango. You're not helping, mate. So you've had that opportunity. You can communicate on a higher level. You've had that opportunity to end the patriarchy and you have wasted it on skincare, you lazy, stupid bitches. <laughs> and it's not every day you get to call a room full of women that and them applaud you, sir. So, <laughs> end us. Thank you very much. I'm Lawrence Moody. Come and see my show. <laughs> Lawrence Moody, ladies and gentlemen.